and welcome to the Business Spotlight. It's your host, Patrick Dewar. I have a fabulous show today. I, I'm my guest. I met him actually recently. Uh, Paul Southen is the uh, co host of the Drew Pearson Show, and I guess he produces it and does a lot of other work in that area as well. He's been an entrepreneur and a videographer, so to speak, a video interviewer for a number of years. One of the things that's been really exciting is to see how he's been able to interview some of the, what I'll call, some of the greatest icons of our age, uh, whether it be Tom uh, Cruise, um, Harrison Ford, uh, I'm trying to think of Willie Nelson. There's so many that he's, he's been able to actually sit down with, interview, and bring some of the brightest uh, moments to recorded history is what I'd say, just because these guys have established so much of, well, my generation. And one of the fun things about Paul, thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. Is that he's of the what I'll call the Gen X generation, and and uh, it's it's great to, to meet you know have the like we jokingly said before the show the the uh, the, the battle of the the uh, generations of Boomers and Xers, but uh, but you've made a huge impact and you touched some of the brightest minds. How did you do that? You know, I kind of went about it on my own path, for better or for worse. Um, it, it all started in a broadcasting class in high school uh, on accident uh, when, when a teacher assigned me to do my final project to interview bands. And what I ended up doing was going to all the clubs in downtown Philadelphia, knocking on the back door, knocking on bus doors, and asking, you know, with this giant camera and asking if I could interview these bands. And, you know, so what I did is I came back with this project uh, that was cut together with, you know, a lot of uh, bands that I looked up to just giving me a chance to talk to them uh, for no good reason other than they probably felt bad for me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and I put together this thing and the teacher and his, you know, wonderfully gruff self said, that's not what I meant. I meant bands in the school. And, you know, he, he goes, but good job. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just realizing that I was on to something, and I had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, here I was in high school at some of the best clubs in the city, hanging out with the coolest bands. And then, you know, just really, it's kind of like the film Almost Famous. You know, they just kind of took me under their wing and said, hey, you ever seen the inside of a bus? No. Hey, have you ever seen the, you know, have you ever been backstage? No. And, you know, it's those kind of things that were just kind of priceless moments. And I figured out how to carry that on throughout college. And then I started doing it on my own. I started my own uh, business called Dallas Music Guide, which um, uh, expanded into 10 other cities uh, for a series of city music guides that was uh, bought out by a company. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a pretty exciting ride. I've gone on to edit for and write for several magazines that I personally read. So I don't know, I have a lot of fun doing it. And, and one of the coolest things about your journey is that you do what you love to do, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's great. And, you know, and sometimes when I tell people, you know, here's a funny thing. So one of the things, one of the many things I do is I do travel writing. And I'm a uh, travel editor for a magazine called Scoreboard. And what I do is I go to all these great resorts, kind of all in different parts of the world, and I write about how nice they are. It seems silly that they even would need somebody to do this. And, they, and they actually pay you to go do this? Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's kind of like a free vacation. You can't really look at it for the money. You know, all I heard was I got paid to go on vacation. <laughs> right. So this is when you know you're, you're on to something, good or bad, when the TSA questions you about this. So I'm coming back from the Cayman Islands, which notoriously, you know, there's, there's some maybe suspect things going on there and financially. And they said, well, what were you doing there? I said, well, the uh, Ritz-Carlton and the Grand Cayman asked me to come and write something, uh, something about them. And, and he, he goes, okay, let me get this straight. You flew in to just to write about how great the Ritz-Carlton and the Grand Cayman is? I said, yep. And he goes, Stamped and let me move on. It was almost like <laughs> How do he, I get that job? <laughs> it's almost like he didn't believe me. And, and I think, you know, when I explain to people that basically I travel around the world, write about great places, and interview really interesting people that you've probably heard of most of them, um, and, um, you know, surrounded by beautiful things and beautiful people, that's, that's pretty lucky. And how can you not love it? One of the things that I was, I, I'm so thrilled about you know our chance encounter and and mm -hmm. meeting you and is that you know you had an, a moment when it was really time to um, uh, it, it, you had to 
decide what you really wanted to be when you grew up. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden things changed and you really began to, to, to go with your passion. So I know that, that uh, you know, in this show, we're going to talk more about the, the journey that you've had, mm -hmm. the people that you've interviewed, the ways that you have uh, created um, what you do. Oh, good. It's like the, if you were to define what a movie star is and what they should be, it'd probably be him or John Travolta. I mean, those guys are just, they're right there with you. Like, especially Tom Cruise. When you're asking him a question, he's looking at you in the eye. And he's using your name. And he's, he's just really, you, nothing else is going on. Any of these lights, the cameras, that's not his focus. He's focused on you. That's and he good. thanks you for coming. I, and, and I'm having to focus on the fact that we've got to take a break. Oh. And uh, so with that, this is a business spotlight. Paul Southen's my guest. And I just want to encourage you to stick around because Paul has some really good, more stories of how he's changed, um, created his life the way he wants to. And we'll be right back.